Okay, so it turns out this white stuff allows you to put portals on it. This is basically the paint they put on the tiles in the testing chambers that allows you to use portals on them. Which is an incredibly cheap tactic, I know. But yeah, there it is. Maybe I'm not entirely sure what use it is just yet. So unless I can move some more of this stuff around, I'm not sure how I get out of here. I figured out the beginning of the puzzle at least, that's, you know, something. Aha, well, wait, I can get up there with it. Aha, yes. Knew it all along, I was just testing you all. See if you knew as well. Right, so... What do I do from up here? I need to get over there where that speed gel is, presumably, but... How do I actually do that? No porting surfaces? No? Hmm. Ah, wait, there's blue gel, isn't there? Ah, right, okay. Boing! Aha, look at that. Could do this all day. Well, probably not, actually. More than, like, 20 minutes on trampoline gives you motion sickness, doesn't it? Uh, probably not a good idea. Oh, I love this. Just something delightfully awesome about the fact she's terrified by a bird, isn't there? Right, so how do I... Hmm, I need to get over there. I've got my angled surface behind me to fling myself. So then what do I... Oh wait, there's no emancipation field back here, is there? I can fling a portal on that far wall. Use the speed gel to think, yeah, to gather ne the necessary momentum. See, I'm so excited by my discovery, I can't speak. Isn't that just slightly tragic? No, higher, please. There we go. Excellent. Right. Now, as long as I'm not wrong, I should land safely on the far catwalk and not plummet to a grisly death. So, here's to that, I suppose. Cheers. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Straight across. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> really, I wonder why. As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks. Wow, getting old these days, eh, mate? Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mix them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive. And do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Hmm. Isn't that just slightly tragic? So, you know, supposed to say you reap what you sow and all that. You've been acting like an irresponsible little dick to uh, all of these test subjects. Now it's your turn to feel the benefits of science. We've all learned something from your lesson anyway. Don't ingest lunar rock. Which I know is a, a tremendous benefit to all of us. Can't count the number of times I've almost accidentally done so. Alright. What's awaiting me in this next test chamber that's taking quite a while to load? Don't give me a loading screen anymore, it's just, you know, doing the elevator motion, which is all very well and good, but. Right, there's a lot of white gel up here. Okay, so... There's no other portable surfaces, though. Okay. Do I need to move this stuff about to create my own portal surfaces, do I? Mm, it's fair enough, I suppose. First of all, let's fling some through the grating here and get out of this damn room. Excellent, excellent. Ah. Excellent. Jump on through here. 
and get caught in a loop and go completely the wrong way. Excellent. You know, that's really what I wanted to do. Oh, ah, to freedom! Can't keep me trapped in no momentum loop. Do you not know who I am? You not see me take a chair? Anyway, um... Right, so I need to get up there, do I? Okay. Now, I'm going to need a pretty big drop to get the momentum necessary to get up there, aren't I? Let's get some more gel going. Okay. Now, there's a slanted surface there, so I need that to be covered in this stuff as well. As much of it as possible, please. Thank you, thank you. Right. Now, I'm also going to need to drop from quite a height. So when I get flung out of that angled surface, I, um, yeah. Okay, so I need a bit of distance and a bit of height. That'll do. Right, there's a catwalk up on top of these two pillars. So, okay, yeah, I can do this. It's ironic, really, I was playing Super Mario 64 the other day. This is basically wall kicks, but with gel, isn't it? Yeah, that should work out just fine. Okay, that should be high enough, I think. Excellent, excellent. Alright, cool. Okay, I'm on top of the platform. Ready for the drop. So, all I need... Did I put enough stuff down there? Yeah, I did. Excellent. Okay, portal on the angled surface, like so. Portal down below me, like, like so. I have a bit of luck. Some conservation of momentum. Ah, uh, that's right. Newton is my bitch. Life gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. You're getting a bit overexcited there, love. If we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence, we should have been working on it 30 years ago. And I will say this, and I'm gonna say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <coughs> now she'll argue, she'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> Yeah, put her in my computer. I don't care. Alright, test's over. <coughs> wow. Head on back to your desk. You're kind of a douche, aren't you? So basically, you force this chick to take over your company. And then went one step further by forcibly implanting her brain in a computer mainframe. So she could continue to run your company after you died. I don't know whether that shows a rather intense level of loyalty and faith in your, well, that one employee, or an intense level of psychosis, basically forcing their intelligence to live for eternity in an undying machine. Yeah. Ooh, look at all that. Wow, that's, yeah, several hours of creepy, isn't it? So it does explain why, you know, the bitch is so crazy. She's an originally human intelligence that's been alive in forced perpetuity for what? Ooh, like two centuries or so by now? That is pretty, uh, pretty much a dick move on the employer's part. I suppose it's also sort of bittersweet and sad and all that business in the way, isn't it? This one woman's the only person he ever had faith in to uh, 
fulfill his little vision. Now that's sort of a downer on the game, isn't it? Hmm, where do I go then? Ah, up there, okay. Okay, I can get up there. Right, I need a portal there. Like so. And there should be a drop somewhere I can use then. Aha! There we go. A drop, exactly. Lovely. Right. Let's hope I don't cock this up now. Okay, and whee! Portal over there. Damn it. Actually, no way, that's fine, isn't it? That's fine. I can just drop straight back, straight back through there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Right, where am I going, though? Once I'm, ah, there we go. It's an angled surface over there. Wait for it, wait for it. And fire at the angled surface. Awesome. I haven't had to do one of those in a while. To freedom! He hopes, anyway. I know things look bleak, but that crazy man down there was right. Let's not take these lemons. We are going to march right back upstairs and make him put me back in my body. And he'll probably kill us because he's incredibly powerful and I have no plan. <laughs> wow. I'm not going to lie to you. The odds are a million to one and that's with some generous rounding. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's one plan. Alternatively, we could try my plan. Because, you know, I'm sort of an expert, as it were, in wrecking the shit of artificial intelligences. As you can attest to yourself. Give me a few seconds alone in a room with him and this portal gun and... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can take care of business. So what am I doing in this room, anyway? Right, I did get up to the top of it, do I? Okay. Right, so these pillars, I presume, are... Uh, yeah, okay. That's fine. Right, so I got myself a bit of height. That's all well and good. What do I... Okay, so I need to go over there. And I need to get... Yeah, I need to drop from on top of one of these support girders. Down onto the floor, presumably, to launch myself up there. Okay. It's fair enough. Um, what's the best way to do this? Can I just leap off onto the girders? Nope, no I can't. Naturally. An added complication I really didn't need, but fair enough. Right. Actually wait, I can just port over to the girders, can't I? Duh. Again, the answer's staring me right in the face and I don't see it. So apparently I'm a retard. I just never knew about it. Okay. Flinging mechanism away. I gotta say, I've used this particular, you know, mechanic a lot in this game, haven't I? Most of this entire sort of 1950s test chamber area has been built on this single mechanic. Flinging myself in various directions. I also need some repulsion gel if I'm gonna do this. And my phone's going off again. Uh, I'll go check it in a moment after I'm finished with this recording. I doubt it's anything important. Right, is that? Well, it's a long way down. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, crap, don't miss the portal. Ah, I did it. Rebound, bitches. Oh, crap. And he flew over the railing. That wasn't good. Right, so where am I going then? Further up again? Is that the idea? Uh, uh, that would have been too easy, wouldn't it? Just to be able to port onto the surface. Oh well, fine, whatever. Alright, this should give me the height I need, if I use it correctly. And presumably once I'm up in the air, I should be able to port on something else. Okay, fair enough. Can I access the drop from here, or am I going to have to go down a few levels and do it that way? So I'm going to need to get up there eventually, I presume. 
Plus I'm quite lucky in a way that all these maintenance shafts are so easily accessible. None of them are locked or anything, which is handy for me. There we go. Well, I say handy, I mean, they're largely inaccessible to regular people as well, but... I don't know where I'm going with this sentence anymore. Okay, line up correctly. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss! Awesome. Fire portal? Nope, cocked it up. Didn't push the key in time. Let's try again. Go! Ah, quick, forward, 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 forward! Ah, awesome. Solve the next bit of the puzzle. Alright, onward through the next test chamber and my phone's going off again. One second. <laughs> 